Let's do a bit of a linear algebra problem. So let's consider the vector space of polynomials with degree less than or equal to 2 and consider a map that takes a polynomial to a 2 vector given by the polynomial evaluated at 0 and its derivative evaluated at 0. Let's check that t is a linear transformation. So we need two polynomials and two numbers, and then we look at t evaluated at that linear combination of the two polynomials. But this really just boils down to the linearity of the derivative, and it simplifies out very, very nicely. Now let's calculate the null space. So let's take p of x to be a plus bx plus cx squared, and observe that if we evaluate this at zero, the b and the c term cancel and leave us just a in the first component. And if we take the derivative and evaluate it at zero, we get b in the second component. So this is equal to the zero vector if and only if a and b are both zero, making the null space of this simply the multiples of x squared.